Welcome back to Scoreboard. I'm Kelsey Williams, joined by Jake Kirk and Michael Deere, and today we're going to talk some Bears basketball. So the Bears extended their five-game losing streak on Saturday with a 66-49 loss against the number one team in the Southland Conference, Stephen F. Austin. What were the Bears' biggest issues, do you think? Rebounding and turnovers. I think that can cover almost any problem that UCA has had. Rebounding and turnovers. They got out-rebounded 39-20 for the game, and we're talking 20 turnovers. No team is going to win any big games or any close games when you have stats like that. That's just not acceptable for college basketball. Not to mention, with the 20 turnovers, only 8 assists. Not enough shots because when you turn the ball over 13 times in the first half, you're clearly not getting the shots off. But they shot 50% when they did have the ball in the half-court offense. But if you're turning the ball over every other possession down court, you're playing the number one team in the league, they're going to take advantage of it. One of eight from the three-point line. That's just it's it's not good At ball. least it wasn't one for 20, one for 16. <laughs> free throws, 14 of 27. Those are freebies. And against the number one team, if you get to the line 27 times, I believe Stephen F. Austin got there 26 times. So it wasn't like a mismatch game free throw-wise. One team was shooting 40, the other shooting 20. And then my biggest thing, other than – Miles, no one showed up starters wide. We started four all. guards and one forward, so we went small. We had a game plan the first half. You know, I guess they knew we're not going to be able to out-rebound these guys. Let's try and beat them on the boards, fast break, run them, do something. UCA does not have the depth to continue anymore without the five players that aren't playing now this semester. Yeah, I completely agree with that. Like you said, we had the game plan to go in with the small front court and, and everything like that but that may have affected not rebounding but whenever you're playing number one team and you have 20 turnovers it's surprising that Stephen F. Austin only scored 17 points on those 20 True. turnovers they could have easily put up 40 and it not even been a game at all I think it comes back to consistency in the end because they came out strong and then all of a sudden they just went downhill they had nothing to lose came out thought you know we'll give it a crack and just if you allow downhill. a defense to focus on miles and the other four starters give you a combined 14 points and they only took 10 shots in the field. Number one team, such as Stephen F. Austin, they can time out after time out. You have to stop Miles. If you stop Miles, what else are they going to do to us? We can live with it. UCA doesn't just have that second scoring option. So UCA goes on the road against McNeese State and Nichols State this week. Will the Bears end their losing streak, do you think, or do you think it's just never ending? Uh, this streak's going to continue. <laughs> uh, we're looking at five right now. That's another two games, add on to seven. I, the problems they have, yes, you can say you can fix these things, but at the same time, getting out rebounded heavily every single game, just not having the pure size or depth to be able to move people in and out. You're starting four guards. It almost tells me, you know what, we're, we're set to get out rebounded. We're going to have to do something else really well to offset how bad we're getting out rebounded. They, it's just so many. You're, in, you're a college basketball player playing D1 ball. This stuff is fundamentals that they're struggling with. Rebounding, that comes with blocking out. That's stuff you need to learn in Pee Wee and in junior high, and that's the stuff that needs to stick with you, especially when you're playing D1 schools and number one teams in the conference like Stephen F. Austin. And turnovers, that's, yeah, your point guards are going to get some turnovers, but that's just stuff you're going to have to protect the ball as an offensive player because they're so far behind on these things this season that I'm afraid to agree with Michael. There. Really, their only way to end the streak, and they haven't been great at home this season, I mean, a team like this, the struggles they're having, doesn't go on the road and play well. You don't expect them to win on the road. For some reason, all over across the country, basketball teams do not play well on the road anymore. It's almost a sure thing that nine times out of ten, the team's going to lose, it seems like. And for their them to fix their problems, they're going to have to come back home. They have a two-game homestand coming up next week. Win two games there, at least get some confidence. This team needs a shot of confidence in the arm. Yeah, especially with the games next week, whenever you got ESPN3 showing up to showcase this. And whenever you have people that, whenever you don't have a home court advantage yet, right. and you've played as many home games as they have, there's just, there's not a bright side yet for the Bears. And you look for something, like you said, teams can't win on the road. Well, UCA is struggling home and away. So it's big things. They're just going to have to step up and be a complete 360 as a team. So the keys for them to end this losing streak, rebounds, anything else that you can mention? I think it's a, it's a mentality. Like I said, they're, very young, they're a younger team, and I feel they're not as mature as they could be. So whenever you're playing, it's just got to have the right mindset from the get-go, from the jump ball. For me, it's got to be that second scoring option. McClure, Brown, or Jackson, whether he's hurt or not, get healthy. Someone has to be there consistently. I'm not saying you have to score 20 points a night. There has to be someone that you can have the overall confidence in to get to the ball, make a shot, see it go in. I mean, there's got to be someone else do something, whether it's rebounding, assist, 
having eight assists and 20 turnovers, uh, you cannot win a game doing that, especially when Miles has four of the four of the eight assists. And then also, I mean, other than working hard on the glass, like you said, that's just something you have to want the rebound. It's just simply down to individual players. Changing the game plan, like we said, Coach Finn, you really can't put it on him. He's just he's dealt with so much this year. He's having to change that's true. rosters, game in, game out. They just cannot get in a chess match with people. I, they're they're outsized. They just don't have the pure athletes that we've seen some of the teams that they played this year. They can't get in a half court offense. I think the only way UCA is going to hang with people, maybe upset a few people, teams, they're going to have to get almost like an Arkansas Razorback style play, up and down, wear you out. I understand they don't have the depth to really do that, but they can't go half court against people, slow the game down. Well, thank you, Jake and Michael, for joining us today on Scoreboard. That sums it up for tonight, and we'll see you on next week on Channel 6 Scoreboard.